Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Uh, today guys, I'm gonna make a short video about email marketing and how to get more medical tourism clients by using email marketing. Guys, not every patient that uh, reaches out to you through your website is going to become a, uh, a paying client um, at that time. A lot of times when patients reach out to you through your website, um, they're interested in medical tourism, but sometimes they want more information about medical tourism or want more information about a certain procedure. And they also want to know if you're a startup medical tourism facilitator, they also want to know that you're credible. And the way you uh, increase your credibility with these contacts is by sending them helpful emails and by giving them uh, knowledge on certain subjects that maybe they didn't have prior uh, to signing up for your mailing list. So you want to you wanna generate patient leads and you want to try to uh, get these patients to become paying clients, but a lot of times they aren't going to become paying clients uh, the first time they reach out to you or the first time you talk to them on the telephone. So you want to make sure that after you engage them initially, you follow up with these uh, with these contacts and that you engage them through automated email. But there are there are email services out there that you can set up that are inexpensive where you can uh, set up automated emails that go out on a weekly. Uh, basis and 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 you obviously want to make sure that you're creating creating value and that you're providing valuable content to these uh, to these individuals and these potential clients. But yeah, email marketing is uh, is a great way to engage your mailing list uh, and a great way to get more patient leads uh, to turn into actual paying clients. Um, so when I first started out in the medical tourism industry uh, and I would try to generate patient leads for our members, um, I would send these long drawn out emails. Uh, with a lot of paragraphs detailing, uh, you know, certain subjects about medical tourism and certain destinations. Uh, but what I found is that uh, when you do email marketing, you want to make a short email and you want to link to a blog or a video or a, a piece of content that's on your website. And as I said, long drawn out emails aren't the best. A short paragraph is probably the best and link to content on your website. But even more so than that, um, instead of making a lot of emails or making an email every day to engage with your, uh, with your contact list or, or with patients that you have on your, on your mailing uh, list, instead of doing that, the best thing to do is to set up automated emails. And there's, uh, um, uh, there's websites like MailChimp and GetResponse. They have these platforms where you can actually set up emails that go out automatically um, any day of the week. So let's say if somebody joins your, your mailing list today, you can have an automatic email that sends out to them the following day and, and every day after that. I wouldn't make it every day, but you can have a consistent email that uh, that reaches out to them. If you're a startup, maybe you don't have um, you know a huge mailing list. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. Ways you wanna, um, ways you wanna generate patient leads. One is you wanna go online and find out where your potential clients are congregating and go into those spaces and leave helpful content, whether that's Quora or, um, or another platform that has, or Facebook that has these groups that are interested in medical tourism. Go to those, uh, go to those groups, provide helpful content. You can link to your content as well. You obviously don't wanna be too spammy. Um, but you got You have to do things like that. I also have a great video on um, uh, on Google marketing and and how to do Google ads. So I'm going to leave a link down below to that as well, so you can check out that video. It goes over how to set up a Google ad, how to get uh, patients to your website in a relatively short amount of time. Um, but once these patients come to your website, you have to remember that you have to provide value to these potential uh, clients, and the way to do that is by sending out automated emails, engaging them, and uh, and finding out what their needs and wants are and sending out helpful information that meets, that answers those questions that they're looking to get answered. So thank you guys for watching this short, uh, this short educational video. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave some links below. I'm going to leave my email address as well. You guys can reach out to me if you have any other questions, uh, but I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.